less than a five minute wait. 10 more minutes, we'll be back with more weather and traffic. Well, members of the Michigan Podiatric Medical Association are teaming up with local nonprofit groups to help families provide shoes for needy children. And they're hosting a new shoe and sock drive to help families. And Dr. Jeffrey Frederick from North Point Foot and Ankle and Oakland Regional Foot and Ankle joins us this morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Cam. That's right. Um, we are partnering with 35 different locations across the state uh, to try and uh, have a shoe and sock drive. Mm -hmm. uh, most people think when they think back to school, they think of school supplies and all right. that stuff. But they really don't think about shoes, and shoes are, are are, are, for lack of a metaphor, to get the child on the right foot right off the bat, mm -hmm. uh, we want to put children in appropriate shoe gear. So there's a lot of different types of shoes out there and a lot of needy families. So we're trying to partner together. Uh, we have uh, um, done an association with Payless Shoe Stores across the uh, state, and uh, we're hoping that uh, people will donate new shoes and new socks uh, for the needy. Um, I'd like to just address uh, what most parents are thinking is mm -hmm. how do I know what's a good shoe right, or what's right. a bad shoe? Or uh, cool. <laughs> or a cool shoe and that's part of the problem also. Um, the first thought is children aren't just small adults. Right. Their needs are a little bit different right. and uh, most children if they looked at this table they'd go right to the shiny stuff mm -hmm. or right to the, to the Crocs type mm -hmm. of, of shoe and that's not necessarily the best shoe for them. So uh, a couple helpful tips that we try and give our parents is basically uh, first off take your child with you okay. and, yep. that, and that helps them buy into what's a good shoe and what's a bad shoe. Right. Uh, the second tip would be always measure the child because their, their foot is going to constantly change. Right. Don't always think well my child's a five then I know he needs to be a six or she needs to be a six because that's not necessarily true right so they should be measured uh, at the store and every brand is a little bit different mm -hmm. a five in this shoe wouldn't be a five in that shoe we always try and get uh, children and parents to go shoe shopping later in the day. Just like adults, uh, their feet also swell. So there'll be a little change in uh, size. Oh, okay. So you want them to, to try that on. Um, just like adults, uh, there should be absolutely no break-in period. A uh, child puts on a shoe and it's uncomfortable just because they like the color of the shoe isn't necessarily going to be good. It's mm -hmm. never going to break in appropriately for the child. Um, and one of the other things that children do very easily is kind of ignore discomfort and not tell their parents, oh, this I did is that hurting once. me. Yeah. This is hurting me, but I love the shininess yeah. of it, and I don't want to tell my parents. A key way to, to figure that out is when they come home, if they're kicking the shoes off immediately, that's a warning sign to you. Yep. You'll also see redness on the side of their foot, and that's telling you that it's yeah. not really fitting well for them. Um, most people and children have one foot that's a little larger than the other, mm -hmm. so always fit the larger foot. Um, and always make them try it on with socks and shoes. Sure. And probably one of the key issues here is appropriate shoes for appropriate activity. Um, we, if you know your child has physical education on that day, you know that they should be wearing gym shoes. Okay. And there's a good variation in gym shoes, and let's just do that really quick, okay, sure. is if you take a, a good gym shoe and you bend it, mm -hmm. you can see that it bends at the toe box but does not bend in half. If you take a, another gym shoe that's not as well built, you can see oh, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. This provides absolutely no support for the child, and that's very concerning because they're growing feet and they need a lot more support. Right. So that's an important part absolutely to look at. Well, there is a long list of uh, drop sites on our website, so we want to make sure you check our website, myfoxdetroit.com, to see where you can drop off shoes for kids who need them. So thanks so much You're for welcome.